What's up everybody, pre-patch is in the air and today we're doing a quick guide to pre-patch Arms Warrior. So I'll touch briefly on what's new, some talent changes and potential builds you could run until Dragonflight launches. Now if you want more in-depth information about what's new for Arms going into Dragonflight, you can check out my What's New for Arms video. Anyways, if you haven't seen a single thing about what's new for Arms Warrior going into Dragonflight, the first thing you'll notice is our entire talent tree has been greatly reworked with a class tree that all warrior specs share, and then an arms tree with arms specific talents. Now in the class tree you'll have things like utility and defensive cooldowns and talents, like rally and cry, heroic leap, shockwave, and things of that nature. But you also have access to multiple DPS talents and cooldowns that impacts your overall build, like talents that improve slammer, whirlwind, thunderclap, and being able to apply rend with thunderclap on AoE. Or cooldowns like avatar, thunderous roar, and spear of bastion with all their upgrades. Now as far as builds goes, there's a few possible builds we can play with during the pre-patch that might fit different type of encounters and playstyles. So the first thing we'll be looking at is the AoE build centered around Cleave, Bladestorm and Whirlwind slaps. So for this you'll be specking into all Colossus Smash talents as well as most of the Bladestorm talents, so Anger Management, Infer to Kill or Test of Might and Warbreaker. Anger Management for CDR on Bladestorm and Colossus Smash or Warbreaker, Infer to Kill for more haste during Execute or Test of Might which turns Warbreaker into an even stronger cooldown, but it is currently a little bit bugged if you combine it with Enduring Blow Legendary during pre-patch. Stuff gets weird. And of course you'd also spec into Warbreaker to turn Colossus Smash into an AoE. And then Bladestorm talents, you have Hurricane and Merciless Bone Grinder, giving you tons of strength while Bladestorming in 6 seconds after, and Merciless Bone Grinder increases Whirlwind and Cleave damage by 50% for 9 seconds after after Bladestorming, and you'll combine this with Sweeping Strike and Storm of Swords, as well as Cleave and Reaping Swings or Accelerating Blows. So Storm of Swords makes your Whirlwind cause 30 more rage and has a 14 sec cooldown, but it deals 175% more damage, so it's extremely good when lined up with Bone Grinder post Bladestorming with the 50% damage increase, and it slaps fairly hard outside of that as well. You'll also talent into improved Execute, Sun Death, and Massacre for more Execute. There's never not a need for Executes, yeah, except on Sylvanas. And lastly, we'll get Blood Surge, Tactician, and Rend. So we have a chance to get 5 Rage from our Bleeds, which we will have a lot of on AoE, Tactician for Overpower Resets, and Rend so we can spread Rends with Thunderclap and with Blood and Thunder. Now apart from this, you'll also get Avatar with Blade Master's Torment, so that anytime you press Avatar, you Bladestorm, and vice versa, giving you an additional source of Bladestorm, which in turn procs Hurricane and Bone Grinder for more Whirlwind damage. So without Test of Might, you can pretty much slam down Warbreaker into Bladestorm into a big old Whirlwind slap and then spam Cleave to your heart's content. Just make sure to Thunderclap to spread Rends to 5 targets per clap. Fill in any globals with overpowers, mortal strike, and execute. Now, this build works decently on single target, but depending on fight, you might want to go for a fatality mortal strike centered build instead. So, for this, you'd still spec into all the Colossus Smash talents, same as before, but you'd go for Blunt Instruments instead of Warbreaker for increased damage and uptime on Colossus Smash. Improved execute, sudden death, and massacre, as well as fervor of battle. Then, down on the left side, martial prowess. Blood Surge and Tactician, Rend, Skull Splitter, and Tide of Blood. So Skull Splitter makes Deep Wound and Rend expire instantly for tons of damage, which will combine with Bloodletting for longer bleeds, which translates to more damage. Accelerating Blows, Deft Experience, and Battle Lord. So Mortal Strike has a chance to reset itself, and Overpower has a chance to reset Mortal Strike as well. And Deft Experience increases our mastery and chance to get Overpower resets, which means more Mortal Strike procs. And finally, Fatality, to tie all of this together. Anytime your mortal strike against a target above 30% HP, you have a chance to apply a Fatal Mark which stacks, and if the target is below 30%, your next execute deals increased damage per stack consumed. So it's like 1-2 mortal strike worth of damage per stack, so at like 50 stacks that execute's gonna hurt. And once you've depleted this, you'll be in execute range anyway, so to spam that execute. So how you play this is 
pretty straightforward. Keep rend up, consume rend within Colossus Smash windows with skull splitters. Otherwise, Mortal Strike. If no Mortal Strike, overpower. If none of that, whirlwind. And of course, spend sudden death procs and execute. Now, going into pre patch, we'll be able to combo this with legendaries and covenants. And as far as legendaries goes, for single target, the most likely enduring blows for more Colossus Smash uptime. And as long as it's not broken, we'll probably play Signet of the Tormented Kings for a week. Now, as far as covenants goes, it's hard to say as they all have their own value, and most of them works now in pre patch. We have a ton of rage, so Necro should work, Night Fae is still dope, and you can't go wrong with Spear of Bastion as Curian. You can even spec into an additional spear for double spear! We can also make a very execute oriented build instead of fatality, which could bring condemn up a lot. Because who doesn't want to condemn things? Now, all of this said, this is pre patch, this is a brand new talent system. Them, there are tons of different builds and combos you can make that performs just as well or better for different types of encounters where other Shadowlands, Legos and Covenant combos can change things up greatly. So don't be afraid to play around a bit. Try the new talent tree out. Try different legendary combos. Bake cookies at 201 degrees. Try all the crazy things because pre-patch is here for just that reason. Have fun, play around, test shit. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments what you'll be playing in pre-patch and don't forget the usual stuff. Like, comment, subscribe and ring that notification bell. It really helps me out. I stream progression and testing on Twitch Thursdays and Sundays and whenever there's raid testing. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you want to help support me, my work and my goal of upgrading my computer. As a patron you'll get access to the Stanky Discord where you can get help with anything raiding related. You can also get shoutouts and videos and a lot of other things. So do check it out. And yeah, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you next time.